In this video, I'm going to show you four ways that you can spy on your competitors on Facebook. Hey guys, this is Lester Diaz. Welcome back to the channel. In this channel, we talk about making money online, affiliate marketing, social media marketing, and everything in between. So if you're new, consider subscribing. So I'm going to show you four different ways that you can spy on your competitors on Facebook so you can see exactly what type of ads they're making, so you can see who they're targeting, and that's going to provide you with enough information for you that if you're launching any type of affiliate campaign to promote any type of product or service, it's going to help you identify who they're targeting and from there you can base your own ads. So when it comes to creating ads to making money by promoting affiliate products on Facebook and any type of service or product, you want to gather as much information as possible. So one of the simple little things that you can do is you can spy on your competitors on Facebook by going to their Facebook page and liking their page. And I'm going to show you on my computer, I'm going to show you just four simple tools, four simple ways that you can spy. And that way you gather all that information and you can set up a better targeting options and better campaigns from what they have. This information is very valuable. This is going to help you understand how your competitors are doing. And that way you can do the same thing, but better. So with that said, let's jump in my computer. Okay guys, so for this specific video, I'm going to be using a dummy account that I have where I use most of my testing to see if I want to find out something, if I want to like some pages from competitors and things like that. I would also recommend that you get a second Facebook account from a family member or someone who doesn't use their Facebook account. So that way you can utilize this for research purposes. What this is going to allow you to do is you, if you're targeting specific products or services, if you are targeting local businesses or whatever it is that you're going to do on Facebook when it comes to promoting something, you want to find out what your competition is doing. You want to find out whether uh, their marketing campaigns are working, how much money they're spending. You want to find out as much information as you can because that's going to help you set up better marketing campaigns. So I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to look for an ad and let's see if I can find... Well, this one right here, this, this is an ad, this is a regular ad that is appearing on my uh, newsfeed right now. And what, one simple thing that you can do, the first way that you can find out why they're targeting you is by just clicking on this little three little dots. Once you click on that, you click on why am I seeing this? And Facebook is going to provide you with information on who these people are targeting, who exactly are they targeting. And that's going to help you understand, uh, number one, if you're seeing an ad from someone, you're going to learn exactly why they're targeting you. So this, this, in this case, uh, Tabula wants to reach people interested in content marketing um, based on activities such as liking pages or clicking on ads. Now, content marketing is something that I do. So they're definitely targeting me for the right reasons. And as you can see, they're targeting people from the ages of 18 to 54 who live in the United States. So that's one way that you can uh, spy on your competitors, that you can spy on any ad on Facebook to see why they're targeting you specifically. Now, if we close this ad and we go to the actual Tabula page, Facebook has this new feature on, on every single page now, which could be good or bad depending on how you look at it, because right now every single page has this info and ads section. And if you click on it, it's going to show you all the ads that this page has, whether they're targeting you or not, but basically you're going to be able to see all the ads that they have. Now, we can not actually click on here. We can't see who they're targeting from this page. So that little trick that I just show you, it, you can only do it from your news feed. And as you can see, they have a ton of ads running. I believe most of them could be retargeting ads. So that's two ways. Uh, the first one was just click on the little three dots on your newsfeed. The second way will be to just go to the info and ad section so you can see what type of images they're using. You can see the text that they're using. You can even see their landing pages to see where they're sending that traffic and you can get a better idea of what you should do. The other way that I want to show you is by using tools. Now, this is one of my favorite tools when it comes to research. You can use the first two ways to just get some information that Facebook provides. But if you want to go deeper into specific ads or search by industries and things like that, then you can use 
ad espresso it's a service where you can look up from you know ads for facebook newsfeed or you can search by the industry or you can search by the specific action on those ads for example if you're setting up um, a page and you want to get likes to your page and you have a page about uh, pets then you can search for ads on that specific niche for that specific action which is page likes so this is pretty helpful that this can give you a lot of ideas on what your competitors are doing utilize that information to create your own ads but the last one that i want to show you is a free plugin that you can install in, in google chrome and it's called ad swiper and it's a plugin that's going to tell you it's works inside of facebook and it's going to tell you how many views that ad is getting and how many people are liking that ad or sharing that ad depending on how many people how many impressions that ad is getting so this is going to give you an idea of your competitors on you know what exactly what type of results they're getting from their ads these four ways are enough to get you enough information so you can research your niche whether that's into affiliate marketing or making money online or any other type of business or product or service that you might promote on Facebook, the first thing you should always do is research. Research your competitors, see what type of ads they're doing, see who they're targeting, and, and exactly what type of images or landing pages they're using because all that information is gonna give you enough details for you to make a better campaign, a more cost-effective campaign, and that's gonna help you get better results. All right, so I hope that this video was actually very helpful to you, that you learned something new. And if you did, leave me a comment, give me a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. So thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you on my next video.